going on, peeps? So I just got out of a dive. If you didn't see that episode, go check that out after this one. And now, I'm at Poblacion. It's kind of like the center of Dowell. Really popular for swimmers and divers and whoever. Nice beach. So, I haven't dove here in a while. So we're gonna go check it out. It actually has really nice reef, but uh, I'm gonna go see what critters we can find here. I really appreciate when a place has a spot to clean your gear after dive, because it's so freaking sandy here. I get home and everything, my wetsuit, everything is covered in sand. <laughs> Alex, yeah. it's so hot. Yeah. How hot do you think it is today? Yeah. Like 35? Like 33. Yikes. Yeah. Creator Junior is complaining. Yeah. This one. This one. I had to put on the window thingy because I get in the car and it's 10,000 degrees. I'm trying to make a video, stupid chicken. You guys ready for scuba? <laughs> I'm st I'm you have a knife, I might be stuck. So thank you guys so much for my new uh, Patreon members. Really appreciate you guys really keeping this channel going. We're about to jump in the water. The only hard part about diving out of a restaurant is trying to keep healthy, eating healthy. If you guys haven't noticed, I, I've been, I started like a weight loss fitness challenge on my other channel. Uh, it's gonna be, it's nothing to do with diving. It's just, yeah, just go watch it if you wanna, if you wanna see it. I'll put the link down below. That's my other channel. It's gonna be a lot of work, a lot of work. My goal is to lose a hundred pounds and uh, that's that's the journey so i can definitely use tips over there but one of the tips is i need to go diving right now it's the second of the day they like said on average with temperatures like this and how we dive you can lose five to seven hundred calories per hour and we're doing hour and a half dives twice a day so yeah yeah yeah, yeah on a dive i might do a like our last dive was 150, no, 140 minutes, 150, yeah. something like that. But Alex, you know, we're, we're laying there filming the whole time, getting like seven minutes of footage in one spot or 10 minutes, whatever. And Alex is like all over the ocean, like double, double swimming, trying to find us stuff to film next. <laughs> and then we'll hear bing, 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 if he finds something good. So we could go over there and it's ready as soon as I'm done filming it like, doubles my content or triples or quadruples so i don't have to search he's got the next thing and if it's like a little small area he'll put sticks everywhere so i just go over the stick oh yeah there's something so yeah alex does way more actual swimming <laughs> he's crazy okay okay what happened to the it's losing up is it okay I don't know. Is it cold? Huh? Asaluyo. Asaluyo. Well, you don't have to go far to find critters in Dowin, and I guess today is no exception. This here is a tiny, tiny nudibranch called a dotto species. I believe it's an undescribed dotto. And it is sitting on a really tiny stinging hydroid. This thing is really hard to film. And this is so tiny that it's almost impossible when there's a strong current. I got a pretty decent shot with this guy. You can see his little rhinophores and everything. So I'm kind of proud of it. The current was starting to kick up quite a bit on this dive, but it turned out all right.
not far away there was this Alicia species and it was a little bit easier although as you can see even with my tripod the current is kind of shaking up the little algae or whatever he's sitting on so it's a little bit shaky but not because of my filming just too much current these are really colorful and I've seen them quite a few times and in fact they're in our book called Nudie Brank of Dowin. You can find that on Amazon if you want to support the channel. But this guy is definitely in there. There's actually a lot of Alicia species in the book, not just this one. Now this is a really, really tiny nudie prank. And I wanted to put the golf ball next to it to show you how small it is. As you can see, it's about as small as one of those little dimples in the golf ball. This guy was so tiny, but he actually came out pretty good on video. You gotta love the TG6. It does macro better than any camera, even without the macro wet lenses. I would put it up against any compact camera there is. So just imagining how tiny this is, which is smaller than your pinky fingernail, uh, you can imagine how hard this must be to find, but Alex is really good at finding these tiny little dudes. Now another stinging hydroid just like that first dato species there was this eubranchus species and i filmed this before they're i don't know they're kind of around a lot lately maybe it's a season i don't know but i say that a lot and this one is really colorful a whole lot bigger than that first dato species <laughs> and you know it's only probably a centimeter long still really pretty tiny still and as you can see the current is still making things shaky those little hydroids that it's living on are so tiny and delicate that any current at all just kind of moves them around This tiny little box cowfish, I think it's called, uh, it's, it's, it's like a puffer species. I don't know exactly the name of each one of these, but they're so cute with their little tiny lips. My wife, Judea, she's always laughing about those little lips that looks like they're trying to kiss you. I saw one in the last episode as well at Tacomi Pier, <laughs> but this guy was a lot smaller. This one was probably about the size of a 50 cent piece. And it wasn't the easiest to film. They always, they're not too shy, but they always like backing away, away from your light. And it's, it's just enough to be annoying. And then here was a bigger puffer species, but it was a juvenile and still pretty small. And I didn't know, but there's a cuttlefish right there in the footage. I just now noticed, first time. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. But the puffer fish is pretty cute on its own anyways thank you guys so much for watching please make sure to subscribe because i'm gonna see you tomorrow